What's up everybody watching? In today's video we're going to be doing another Scarlet and Violet 151 Pokemon TCG unboxing. Today we will be doing the Scarlet and Violet 151 binder collection which contains four booster packs and a Mew binder and currently retails at $24.99. This seems like an excellent deal with the four packs valuing at about $5 a pop and you're getting the extra binder for five bucks. Seems like it's worth the price of admission. Let's tear into this box and find out. Prior to ripping into this, I have done two previous openings for Scarlet and Violet 151. I did an Elite Trainer box, and I also did a 151 poster collection. You can check those up right here on the screen. Like, subscribe, drop a comment. It is greatly appreciated on those videos as we are trying to up it here. Now let's see what we get in our new box Let's see if we get any of those epic pulls. I'm already liking this binder, and we're not even out of the plastic. So let's take a look at the binder first. Looking at the side, it looks pretty solid. This is a very nice binder for $5. Extremely nice on first impression. This will definitely cost you... Look at that. Very nice... A binder like this is definitely going to cost you more than $5, so I would recommend picking up the collection with the binder if you're looking for a new Pokemon TCG binder. I like it because it's probably going to be scarce over time because 151 is a special collection similar to Crown Zenith. And I don't remember Crown Zenith having such nice products come out of the box right away. This is something new, and I'm very much liking it. More of this. Let's get on with our booster packs and see if we can get any of the amazing alt art pulls that have evaded us so far in this set. Now, pop that. No code card. It doesn't look like there's a code here. You want to flip it and dump it, but you know there's going to be packs on the floor. Let's try it anyway. We have our four booster packs. This one wants to be upside down, so this is going to be the first one we pop into. Let's see what we get in this opening. Fetched, Shelter, Helix Fossil, Slowpoke, Kingler, Snorlax, this is a new one, I haven't pulled this card yet, Sandslash, Nidorino, Lickitung, and the final card, an Aerodactyl in our first pack. Now, I've noticed there was a few cards I didn't get in previous openings, which is good, because if scarcity allows it, I will go for a master collection of this set. It's just that nice. I'm actually regretting not popping open the Japanese version of these cards before the American ones were released. It's still something on my mind, and if that is something that you would like to see, drop a comment in the comment saying, saying Japanese Pokemon 151, and we will get some Japanese packs to pop open on this channel. I haven't been so enthused about a set in quite a while. So we're all in on this one right now. Extremely enjoyable. I wonder if Paradox Rift, which comes out after this, will be the same, but I do not think so. Leave your opinions on what you think Paradox Rift is going to be like when it comes out. That will be our follow-up to 151. Do you think it'll hold the same weight as this set? Paris. On to that money card. Here we go. Nothing, nothing. 
I heard the pulls in Scarlet and Violet 151 were kind of rough, and it seems like we're going through that phase right now. That's a good thing, in my opinion, because I don't like the endless reprints in Pokemon where, let's use an example, like Rainbow Pikachu in Vivid Voltage gets dove to the floor in value because of the reprints. That is not something I want to see. I like seeing scarcer sets with scarcer cards because it ups the value of the cards for collectors. You can let me know if you agree. We are on pack three. Third time's the charm, right, for an alt art? Free code. See what we get. Pikachu, that's a first one. Filling in that master collection. I just wish it would be with some hit cards. Charmeleon, that's a nice looking card, actually. I do like that. Now, on to the money card. Machomp. It's going to come down to last pack magic on this one, it looks like. One left. Can we get one solid hit? Let's see. One shuffle. Here we go. Get that on screen. EV. I think that's my first EV pull. Last card will be nothing worth it so this will be the second box in a row that i've opened where i haven't pulled a hit card and it just didn't work out but like i said that is completely fine with me because when you finally do get those hit cards it's going to mean that much more to you now my impression overall this box after we have all the contents out of the box for 24.99 it is 100 percent worth it the binder is worth the price of admission with the four packs Going and getting a nicely designed binder like that, first thought in my head was they usually go for about $19.99 or something in that range. So like a $20, $15 binder on top of the four 151 packs just makes it worth the price of admission so much that I think I will probably grab another one of these boxes along with another poster collection box because those two so far have been completely worth the value. You can let me know in the comment section what you think the best 151 product that has been currently released is. I'm going with the binder collection. The poster, though, another one where the poster that comes in that collection is well worth the price of admission. You'll probably spend at least $10 to $15 on a poster that size for your wall. So... What they've done so far with the additional contents in 151 continues to draw me back to buying more 151. Let me know if you agree. Let me also know in the comment section, do you want to see more Scarlet and Violet 151 opened on this channel? If enough people say they do, we will get the Mew box and we will pop that open. So let me know. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel because that greatly helps us overall. With literally everything going on on YouTube, the algorithm, the shadow bands. So that is greatly appreciated when you all do that. Everybody, I want to thank you for joining into this short 151 opening. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a good day or night wherever you are. Later. <laughs>